The estimated amount of data consumption in 2021 was 74 zettabytes. Moreover, this number will double by the end of 2024. The information people cope with is numbers, names, or images. And in most cases, all the information is divided into structured and unstructured. What's the difference between them? You're on the Jelvix channel, and we're excited to share our thoughts on recent developments in tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. Structured data is a type of quantitative data that matches particular criteria. It can be easily organized, sorted, and analyzed. SQL databases are the primary source of structured data. Nevertheless, there's also a lot of different sources of structured data that can be user-generated as well. An example of structured data is a spreadsheet that contains crucial client information. Also, almost any CRM system operates structured data only. On average, it implies identified information about clients. By the way, which CRM do you use? Share in the comments section. Among the advantages of structured data are easy access, as computers can easily manage structured data, as well as users can access and analyze it. Useful for machine learning, as structured data can help developers train machine learning algorithms. Simple data mining, as structured data makes the search and extraction processes lightning fast. Secure data management, as companies that use structured data can keep the information about their customers safe, even in case of a data breach. And easy integration, as structured data can be easily integrated into other platforms and processed with various tools. Among the disadvantages of structured data, we define limited flexibility, as it can hardly be updated or converted to be used for different purposes and limited storage options, as users need to update all the data if any requirements change. Indeed, Microsoft Excel is a convenient tool for managing structured data, and it isn't the only one. Among the other popular tools, we define MySQL. It is a relational database management system that can arrange structured data in rows and columns. And OLAP. It helps users efficiently analyze structured data that is gathered in centralized storage. By the way, we highly recommend you read the article that has a MongoDB and MySQL comparison. The link is in the description. Well, unstructured data, which is typically categorized as qualitative data, cannot be processed and analyzed via conventional data tools and methods. It defines all the information in any format. Almost anything can be a source of unstructured data. Social media platforms and messages are the largest sources of unstructured data. Examples of unstructured data may be videos, emails, blog posts, and heat maps. Though among the advantages of unstructured data, our specialists define native format, as unstructured data doesn't need to fit particular requirements. Fast data collection, as it's easy to collect unstructured data because it takes roughly 80% of all the information on the internet. Better insights, as it can also be a great source of useful insights that may help acquire data about customers or enterprises. Easy scalability, as there's no need to update a particular database structure if new information is added. And on-demand access, as in most cases, unstructured data is accessed upon demand, so it's cheaper to store it. Analyzing disadvantages of unstructured data, we state that they're hard to analyze, because the number of formats is limitless and lack of specialized tools, as there are no standards that unstructured information meets. So only a small number of tools can manage this type of data. Even though unstructured data implies a lot of different formats, it needs to be managed. In the list of unstructured data management tools, we name MongoDB. It represents a comprehensive platform that offers the ability to store many different data types. And Hadoop. It's a tool that offers the ability to manage and process large amounts of data in different networks. Well, it's impossible to choose the best type of data. Any type of information has its perks, advantages, and drawbacks. Therefore, if you consider what type of data to use, you should first analyze your needs. So, which data format do you think is right for your business? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. 
we help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.